Chowru sat in the lecture hall, her mind far away from the medical diagrams on the screen. She was a first-year student at National Taiwan University College of Medicine, studying obstetrics and gynecology. But her heart wasn't in it. As the professor droned on about female anatomy, Chowru's hand moved almost on its own, sketching a beautiful landscape in the margins of her notebook. She sighed, wishing she could be anywhere but here. After class, her friend Li Hua noticed her drawing. Wow, Chowru, that's amazing. I didn't know you could draw like that. Chowru quickly closed her notebook. Oh, it's nothing. Just a doodle. It's not nothing, Li Hua insisted. You have real talent. Why are you studying medicine if you're so good at art? Chowru's shoulders slumped. It's what my parents want. They say being a doctor is the only way to make good money. But what do you want? Li Hua asked gently. Chowru was quiet for a moment. I want to be an artist, she whispered. I love painting more than anything, but I can't disappoint my parents. Li Hua squeezed her friend's arm. You should talk to Professor Chen. He's always telling us to follow our passions. Later that week, Chowru nervously approached Professor Chun after class. She showed him some of her drawings and explained her situation. The kind-faced professor listened carefully. When Chowru finished, he said, Chowru, your artwork is truly exceptional. You have a gift. If art is what you love, you should pursue it. But my parents... Chowru began. Professor Chun held up a hand. Your parents want what's best for you but only you know what will make you truly happy. Think about transferring to the art school. Life is too short to do something you don't love. Chowru left feeling both excited and scared. She knew she had to talk to her parents, but she dreaded their reaction. That weekend, Chowru went home. At dinner, she gathered her courage and spoke up. Mom, Dad, I have something important to tell you, she began. Her parents looked at her expectantly. I don't want to be a doctor, Chowru said in a rush. I want to study art instead. Her father's face turned red. Art? What kind of career is that? Do you know how much we're paying for your medical school? But dad, I'm miserable in medical school. I love painting. I think I could be really good at it. Her mother shook her head. Chowru, be practical. Artists don't make money. We want you to have a stable future. But money isn't everything. Chowru cried. I want to do something I'm passionate about. The argument went on and on. Voices were raised and tears were shed. Finally, Chowru's grandmother, who had been quietly listening, spoke up. Enough, she said firmly. Everyone fell silent. The old woman turned to Chowru's parents. Listen to me. Young people must follow their own path to be happy. If you force Chowru to study something she hates, you're only wasting her time and talent. But mother... Chowru's father began. Grandmother held up a wrinkled hand. Let me finish. When I was young, my parents made me become a teacher. I was miserable for years. Don't make the same mistake with your daughter. She smiled at Chowru. Show us your art, child. Let your parents see what you can do. With shaking hands, Chowru took out her sketchbook. She flipped through pages of landscapes, portraits, and still lives. Her parents' eyes widened as they saw drawing after beautiful drawing. I had no idea, her mother whispered. You did all these? Her father asked in disbelief. Chowru nodded. This is what I love. This is what I want to do with my life. There was a long silence. Finally, Chowru's father sighed. You really are talented, daughter. I'm sorry we didn't see it before. Her mother added. We only wanted what's best for you. But maybe... Maybe we were wrong about what that is. Chowru felt tears of relief in her eyes. Does this mean? Her father nodded slowly. If this is truly what you want, we'll support you transferring to art school. Chowru hugged her parents tightly. Thank you, she whispered. Thank you for understanding. Next semester, Chowru transferred to the Department of Fine Arts at the National Taiwan University of Arts. For the first time in years, she felt truly happy and alive. Her talent blossomed, and she threw herself into her studies with passion. Years passed. Chowru worked hard, developing her skills and her unique artistic voice. It wasn't always easy. There were times when money was tight, and she wondered if her parents had been right after all. But Chowru persevered. She entered competitions, displayed her work in small galleries, and slowly built a reputation. 
Her distinctive style, blending traditional Chinese techniques with modern themes, began to attract attention. Ten years after leaving medical school, Chowru stood in a major Taipei gallery, surrounded by her paintings. It was the opening night of her first solo exhibition, and the room was packed with art lovers and critics. As she looked around at her work on the walls, Chowru felt a deep sense of pride and fulfillment. She had followed her dream, and it had led her here. Her parents stood nearby, beaming with pride. Her father leaned over and whispered, We were wrong, Chowru. This is where you belong. You've become more successful than we ever could have imagined. Chowru smiled and squeezed his hand. Thank you for letting me find my own way. Later that evening, a young art student approached Chowru. Ms. Chowru, the girl said shyly, your work is amazing. I hope I can be as good as you someday. Chowru smiled at the girl. Thank you. Can I give you some advice? The student nodded eagerly. Follow your passion, Chowru said. It may not always be easy, but if you love what you do and work hard at it, you can achieve great things. Never let anyone tell you that your dreams aren't worth pursuing. As the student walked away, inspired, Chowru thought about her journey. She was grateful for her grandmother's wisdom and her parents' eventual support. Most of all, she was thankful she had found the courage to be true to herself. Chowru's story teaches us that while it's important to consider practical matters, true success and happiness come from following your passion. With talent, hard work, and perseverance, you can turn your dreams into reality. It's never too late to change your path and pursue what you love. The key is to believe in yourself and have the courage to follow your heart. Danzi, diagram, tu jie, shi yi tu, noun, a simple plan that represents a machine, system, or idea, etc., often drawn to explain how it works. Obstetrics and gynecology, also ob gyn fu chan ke xue, noun, the part of medicine concerned with women's health, including pregnancy and non-pregnancy related conditions. Drone on die die bu xiu, wu xiu zhi de tan lun. Phrasal verb, to talk for a long time in a boring way. Anatomy, jie po xue, noun, the scientific study of the body and how its parts are arranged. Sketch, ge, hua su miao, verb, to make a sketch of something. Margin, ye bian kong bai, bai bian, noun, the empty space to the side of the text on a page, sometimes separated from the rest of the page by a vertical line. Doodle. 心不在焉或心烦时,随手乱画. Noun. A simple drawing or pattern made aimlessly, often while thinking about something else. Slump. 下垂,倒下,陷落. Verb. If your shoulders or head slump or are slumped, they bend forward because you are unhappy, tired, or unconscious. Portrait. 肖像,画像. Noun, a painting, photograph, drawing, etc. of a person or, less commonly, of a group of people. Still life. Qing Wu Hua. Noun, a type of painting or drawing of an arrangement of objects that do not move, such as flowers, fruit, bowls, etc. Distinctive. 与众不同的, 独特的. Adjective. Something that is distinctive is easy to recognize because it is different from other things. Artistic voice. 艺术风格. An artistic voice is the unique style, perspective, and expression that an artist brings to their work. It's what sets their art apart from others.